that is another category of problem this these problems are the problems where i am not interested in from going from initial state to the goal state through a sequence of steps so i am not interested in this sequence of steps this is too heavy so the original problem solving agent was trying to solve or trying to get me the action sequence which is this this was my output of when i solve a problem an action sequence as okay so this is sometimes a necessary thing that i want to know how to get myself from initial state to the goal state using the action sequence in certain category of problem like n queens problem or like maybe uh, placement of resistors capacitors and other things on a uh, wafer of a, what do you call it a, a semiconductor that is placement of ic in a, a specific area in a condensed manner with a constrained manner uh, so as to arrive at a chip magnetic chip all these problems they require you to get into a goal state or search how you can get into a goal state okay basically the problems which are configuration problems okay so we are interested in doing the configurations for such problems i am not interested in finding this action sequence sequence what i am interested in is this goal node so i am interested in reaching the goal node what is the goal configuration that follows certain constraints okay specific uh, specific problem instance that uh, they talk about in the book is n queens problem but any problem where you are planning a layout planning a layout of ic or planning a layout of a city planning a layout of some sort of uh, navigation plan or maybe lecture schedules for a timetable scheduling problem all these problems we want the schedule which does not violate any some constraints which are posed on the problem okay we are not interested in how you arrived at it but we want to arrive at the solution for such problems it is not important to remember the path it is what is important is important is to get the goal node search the goal node for such problems remembering the solution path jo hum log remember kar rahe the uh, back link se parent link se remember kar rahe the wo important nahi rahega abhi because i am not interested in knowing how i reach the solution but i am interested in getting to the solution for all such problem there is a category of search algorithms which is referred to as local search algorithms and these local search algorithms is what we are going to learn next okay they are slightly different in their way uh, in the way they solve the problem and uh, there is a very much large class of problems where they are applicable the algorithms under this category that we are going to learn very briefly they are very much state of the art ai solutions used for solving their actual problem machine learning mein optimization techniques mein jahan jahan pe aap goal node search karne ki koshish karte ho wahan pe local search algorithm use hote hain internally okay so classification problem you talk about clustering problems you talk about uh, wherever you require to do optimization you generally try to use a local search algorithm internally when you use the optimization technique okay so but since this is a very introductory course we won't go up to that understanding ki optimization actually kaise hota hai but we will understand how local search actually arrives at the goal node through the navigation of the state space where it does not need to remember the paths it just needs to remember whether you are reaching the goal node or not okay now uh, this is how an nq n queens problem can be actually represented when i am not interested in knowing how i reach the solution i can start with placing all the four queens if it's a four queens problem so this is a four queen instance that they are showing here in the example of the n queens problem four queens means four cross four grid placement of four queens such that no two queens should hit each other so this may be my initial placement okay and uh, here 
you definitely know that this configuration is not a correct configuration. But one important thing is that not all four queens are in same row. This is what you are following as a strategy. So what they are saying is put n queens, put all the queens on the board simultaneously with no two queens on the same row, with no two queens on the same row, same column or same diagonal. This is the n queens problem. We know that. Now, if this, this is my initial state, four queens are on the board, but two queens are in same row. So this is not the desired configuration. What should I do? I should move this up. If I move this up here, then these three queens are now in same row. Earlier, there were two rows where two queens were there in the same row. Now there are only, uh, if I move this here, it will be one row with three queens in that, which is rather uh, a loose representation than the current representation, right? So I will prefer not to move this here. Rather, I would move this here, which will give me a benefit. Now, if I move this queen here, which is this state, so let this be the second state. This is better than the earlier one. In this case, there were two queens. Okay, there were two queens. Uh, sorry, there were two situations where two queens were there on the same row. Here, there is only one situation where two queens are there in the same row. Okay, and there are two rows where there is a single queen. And please remember that we have already taken care by this placement, we have already taken care that every column will have only one queen. Okay, fine. Now, what next I can do? I obviously know that maybe I can move this here. So if I move this here, this is where uh, this actually reduces two clashes. So I had one pair and the other pair clashing with each other. Okay, this queen is safely placed. Okay, nobody nobody is attacking this queen. But this queen is a queen that is attacked by maximum other queens, right? Diagonally. Okay, horizontally koi or vertically usko koi attack nahi kar raha hai, lekin diagonally do queen usko attack kar raha hai. To main is queen ko agar yahan pe le jaunga, to that will be a better desirable position than the earlier one. Okay, it's just an explanation. It is not an algorithm. I'm just trying to explain you how I can get to a better and better state by not actually looking at or following a particular strategy that we used to follow earlier, okay? That finding out the, uh, uh, doing the expansion of the node, finding out the child nodes, maintaining them in a queue, all that stuff, okay? So we'll see now the algorithm. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the simplest of the algorithm that we can think of uh, under the local search algorithm is hill climbing algorithm, okay? So yeah, uh, this is how they describe it in its uh, research paper where people introduce hill climbing algorithm. Hill climbing algorithm jag pehle introduced kiya gaya tha research paper mein. So aise unhone explain kiya tha, isliye ye particular tag yaha use kiya hai. You can read the tag and you will also mesmerize how, uh, how corky or how, uh, what you can say, how intelligent these people are. So they say that uh, hill climbing algorithm is like or hill climbing search is like Climbing Everest mountain. So Everest mountain is a very huge mountain to climb. One of the uh, largest uh, or uh, highest peak in the world, as they say. Okay, in the thick fog. So fog is thick, so it is partially observable scenario. I can't see it further from a particular distance. Okay, and the second thing is with amnesia. What is what do you mean by amnesia? Amnesia means being able to forget what you have looked at already. So not remembering a lot of things and still walking through and getting to the to the Everest. This is what this uh, this particular hill climbing search is all about. So you are walking, you are walking towards the peak of that particular hill, but you are navigating in a very much constrained environment in a way that you can't look beyond certain steps. You can't look beyond certain steps. You can only look for maybe your next step or maybe next two steps or maybe next few steps okay that is that is the notion of having thick fog that is my uh, locality of reference is limited next is the amnesia amnesia means you are not remembering how you reached this point you are just going with your uh, uh, what you can say instinct going towards the hilltop looking at certain 
interesting geographical characteristic so if i'm climbing a hill what should be my view i should be looking at is there any upside direction that i can use in order to climb climb towards the peak of the mountain right this is this is how we actually try to navigate over a hill say so suppose this is a hill and i want to navigate this hill and i'm basically at this moment at this place i want to reach this peak this is the peak of the hill this is where i want to reach and if i want to start navigating the hill what should i do i should check uh, maybe uh, there are there is uh, some portion of the hill besides me which takes me to the other side as well so what i'll do i'll actually as a human being look in this direction as well as look in this direction because these are the two directions in which i can walk okay three dimension mere paas nahi hai isliye main three dimension nahi dikha raha maybe only 2d i can say i can move forward or i can move backward then i will always see that if the peak is on this direction because of fog i may be able to see only part up to this range so main yahan pe dekh sakta hu ki mera height at this moment is here if i walk toward this side after some time my height will be this much after i have walked through this region because this is visible to me right this portion is visible to me if i walk to the other side my height is going to be actually remaining the same height utna hi rehna yani main peak ke taraf ja raha hu no i am actually going nowhere if my height is not changing in my walk to the hill top if in my walk to the hill top what would be desirable to me the desirable uh, uh, desirable feature for me would be whenever i walk certain steps and i check my height my height should be increased then i am moving towards the hill top i can conclude that i am moving towards the hill top now if i have amnesia that is i don't know where from i came only using this much information consider that when i reach here this bubble also bubbles of fog also reaches here from here again i can see that if i reach this point it is more desirable and i can move further and as i reach here and see the uh, uh information that i can see the local locality of reference i can see i can get myself to the hill top like this okay so this is what the hill climbing algorithm does in a program in a programming algorithm right right so the algorithm is very simple a very simplistic algorithm of the algorithms that we saw so so far problem is input again i will have all those con- uh, all those def- uh, all those things that the problem brings me with the definition of state definition of goal test definition of uh, the path cost definition of uh, maybe uh, like who is my parent who is the child node how to navigate to the child node that is the definition of that usko kya bolte hai transition model yeah transition model all those things are defined with the problem definition so this is the problem that the problem solving agent defines for you what you will return you will return a state that is local maximum so please understand the fact that these algorithms give you a local maximum now what is this word local maximum means the local maximum in simple terms means if i'm navigating a landscape like this there can be multiple peaks okay so this peak is actually the highest peak that i, I have shown you so far जितना लैंडस्केप मैंने दिखाया है उसमें से हाईएस्ट पीक ये वाला है दिस इज दाइएस्ट पीक बट इफ आई हैव अ लोकैलिटी ऑफ रेफरेंस टू माई सेल्फ इन दिस रीजन ओनली देन फॉर मी दिस इज द हाइएस्ट पीक राइट ऑल दो दिस इज द ग्लोबल हाइएस्ट इफ आई हैव अ लोकैलिटी ऑफ रेफरेंस फॉर मी देन दिस इज द हाइएस्ट पीक इफ माई लोकैलिटी ऑफ रेफरेंस is maintained up to this point only this will be the highest peak so the algorithm guarantees you that if you give it a problem with a well formed problem it will return you a local maximum it might not give you a global maximum but it will return you a local maximum